Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is another box from my deck collection. I believe we're on box number 18, right? 18 boxes. And uh, I'm making these videos one at a time, once a week, going through uh, my long boxes. There's like 20 or so decks in each box and just showing them to you one at a time, just so you get a feel of it. Um, this one is kind of be, gonna be like last week where I kind of know what's inside. It says grocery on that. And technically that means I bought these at the grocery store. Uh, you can buy decks at grocery stores or some of those big stores like Target, right? They're just on the pig hook. And I believe, I haven't, I haven't looked inside, but I kind of know what's in there. Um, I believe most of these decks I've never reviewed on the channel ever uh, because they're some of the first decks I ever got, right? First decks I ever got, these are the decks that started um, me collecting cards. And so I'm going to guess that most of these cards have never been seen by y'all. And uh, this is why. <laughs> a lot of times they're bridge cards. I have a lot of bridge cards from Days of Yore. And oftentimes these collector cards come in these little plastic cases. Uh, this is the only one in this uh, deck. This is Bucky's, by the way. So if you're not familiar with Bucky's, it's probably the best rest stop in the world. Well, in my world, because I've never been outside the world. Um, just probably, you know, a lot of these decks are going to come from China, right? Or they're going to be just really cheaply printed because uh, they're grocery store decks. They're just decks that you pick up, you know, while you're out or maybe you're in another state or you're just someplace picking up something collectible, right? And so oftentimes uh, those decks aren't printed very well. Even Disney, you know, I was shocked when I first uh, bought a deck from Disneyland and Disney World that those decks, even though they're a big, huge company, they probably have tons of money and could afford to print with Bicycle, they also print in China. They print on really cheap paper. Um, PGC, I love these. I don't know why, but I just do. Uh, Diamondback Professional Gambling. Uh, these are Hoyles, okay? These are Hoyles, but it's the cheaper Hoyle line. I'm gonna kind of mix things up and show you blue. But um, the cool thing about PGC is you get a full casino back, right? Full casino back. So they're very similar to bees but they're just kind of like the inexpensive version of a B deck. So cheaper paper, okay? There's your court cards. So very much the whole old Hoyle look, right? Reds, blacks, standard. And do I have jokers in here? Or did I, I didn't see jokers. Did you see jokers? I saw the ace. Do, do, do. I did not see jokers. I still don't see jokers. I don't even see ad cards. You know what? This could have been so old that it was back in the day when I used to throw ad cards away. <laughs> I used to throw ad cards away because I didn't know what they were. Well, I wasn't say I wasn't collecting. Uh, this deck is from Long's Drugs. <laughs> it's a it's a drugstore, right? Long's Drugs Royal. Even says Long's on it, but it is a Streamline deck. So Streamline was another um, old United States playing card company brand. So obviously they just got a deck of Streamlines and put it in their own tuck case. They paid for their own original tuck case and then just used Streamlines. And Streamlines, again, was a knock, or not, not a knockoff. It was just a cheap version, cheap version of a bicycle deck. But the cool thing about this deck is um, it was printed in Ohio. So you can see right at the bottom of there, Cincinnati, Ohio deck. So they feel crazy cool. Like this is not how, you can, you can just feel it. This is not how bicycles are printed today. And the crazy thing is this box, this tuck box has been sitting in this box for years and I haven't touched it. And look at this, no clumping, no clumping at all. Just butter, butter smooth. I mean, the, the way these cards are gliding right now, unheard of. You would not see, this This deck still has tons of action in it, which is crazy because it's, you know, a grocery store deck. What does this say? Independence, ooh, Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson playing cards. 
These might have been something that somebody gave me. I don't know that I would have picked these up uh, on my own. So many probably, I probably, you know, people in my life know that I collect playing cards. And so they'll say, oh, I heard you collect playing cards. And then they'll give you a deck of Harley Davidson playing cards. And you're like, thank you. <laughs> I don't ever say no. I don't ever say like, no, I just, I just say thank you. Not bicycle, cheap, cheap paper. Interesting court art though, right? Interesting court art, but one way back design. So that always, that always bugs me, but that was probably like the second time I've ever even gone through that deck. So you got to see it first. Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson deck. Um, Ace, 100% plastic. This deck weighs a ton. <sighs> so heavy. So this is Cardamundi back in the old school Cardamundi days. Um, completely plastic deck. Hear that? That is plastic. So looks like that. And I believe, you, I got these at Target, I think. Look at that. Um, they came in red and blue. Can you still get these at Target? I don't know. There's a lot still over there on the Target Target shelf. Big, huge pips and NCs, though. Look at that. Bold. And then, look at how noisy these are. That's plastic for you. Man, this deck's heavy. You could this This deck would survive being dropped underwater. Literally, 100%. Man, did you, hear, did you hear that going to the box? Boom! Aviators, another great um, bicycle deck, or a deck made by a bicycle. Um, and again, cheap deck. I used to practice uh, card throwing with aviators, because I think back in the day you could get a deck of aviators for 99 cents. Like at the, at the not the good grocery store. No, these were at the, these were always at the, the junkie, grandma grocery store <laughs> and you could get them off the pig hook for like 99 cents i used to buy aviators all the time um and the and hey look at this even though this was their lower brand right again look at that no clumps and again i haven't touched this deck in 100 years still has action look at that because it's bicycle it's a bicycle deck but what they considered to be their knockoff generic faces or back design. And uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Look at that. Cincinnati, Ohio. That's why. This almost feels better than bikes today. Seriously. This was their, this was their cheap deck. And I think this feels better than some bicycles even today. All in brand playing cards. Does it say where it comes? Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> it says Cleveland, Ohio underneath there and then it says printed in China. I remember the um, Cleveland, Ohio, China. The tuck, the tuck seal just popped off. So I'm guessing these are gonna be kind of, oh my goodness. That the, Each one of those shadows is a clump. <laughs> So clumpy. It's just paper. All in Joker, right? All in Ace of Spades. Look at that. It's just clump, clump, clump. So blacks, court cards, aces. Sometimes you can tell um, what deck or who printed it. You know which which artwork they used by finding their jokers. And this could be another deck where I threw the jokers away. Or didn't, or, oh no, it was these, duh, those were the Jokers. So, at least it had its own Jokers. So, full bleed, casino back. I wanna, I'm gonna try, I didn't organize these to begin with. I'm trying to see if I have some mates that I can do. Oh, let's do these. Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo deck. Um, plastic coated finish is what it says, which usually means garbage. 
Um, <laughs> red and blue, but I didn't open red. You know, because I'm saving it because this deck is so awesome. There's your back design. Kind of both the, it's kind of a casino back and, um, so it says plastic coated, but whenever they say that, I always feel like it's just, it's not bad. It's not bad, bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not terrible, but it is paper. Like I just even picking those cards up just now, look at that, bent and permanently bent because it's paper. I never know what they mean when they say plastic coated because they don't mean plastic cards. They're paper cards that have some sort of plasticky like coating sprayed over them to give them a little bit of sheen and a little bit of, you know, glidability. But at the end of the day, they're still paper. So whenever you see plastic coated, right, it just means they're paper, but they've been sprayed. Um, oh, let me see. Oh, okay. Uh, I have an old deck of streamlines. Look at that. These are obviously from Cincinnati, Ohio. I was looking to see if there was a year on these. Look at that old tuck case. The tab just fell off. It was so old. So let's see. Really old deck. Perfect. Really old deck of streamlines. Still, look at that brown sides because that's how much I used it back in the day. So same as the red ones that we saw earlier from Long's Drugs. Um, court card, right? And Ace of Spades in here somewhere. There it is. You could probably look up the year code on there. W3109. When were those made? Somebody look it up for me. Uh, what am I going to do with that little... I'm going to stick the little flap back inside there. Just like just like your grandma would. Um, Rite Aid. Obviously another drugstore, right? Rite Aid. And looking to see if there's a country of origin. Nope, it's a streamlined deck. <laughs> there you go with a blue back streamline. So again, it's it's just a streamline deck. They just have their own boxes, right? They have their own boxes printed and then they stick the, the standard cards inside. So um, does Bicycle still do that? I don't even think they do that anymore, but it's a fun deck. 0807 is the year code. There's your classic streamline jo jokers, courts, but Man, this, this deck still feels good. Dumb tuck box, right? Right a tuck box, but still a good deck. Now, I did review this deck, Raven. I did review this one because at the time I really liked this uh, deck. Indianapolis printed in Raven brand playing cards. Fun decks. Fun decks games. But look at that. Look how bowed they are. Can you see that on camera? Paper, plastic coated cards. There's your back. Let's watch the clumps. Oh my. Did you see that? They moved to the entire block. Oh my. <laughs> I can't even spread them. I can't. Here, let's see. Look at that. They didn't even fall apart. <laughs> they didn't even fall apart. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. There we go. Jokers are some sort of tower. I can't believe I liked this deck at one time. I did. I know they came in other colors too, it came in red. You know what I, I think it was? I just liked the look of it and the and the name. And I was, I was just hoping somebody would just reprint it in Bicycle. Because it's called Raven. That's cool, right? Um, Mavericks. It's another uh, Hoyle brand. Hoyle brand uh, company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Another United States playing card company deck. Still has good action. Still has good action. Doesn't clump up, right? From the faces as well. 
Maverick was another one of those cheap brands that you could get at the grocery store for, I want to say 99 cents. I really do. I think decks back then like this, they were just like, oh, these are your, you know, cheap decks to play cards with. And that's how I got started playing cards and collecting cards because you could get these cheap brands and, you know, there's your Joker and your Ace of Spades. Your code is D9103. D9103. Getting down to the bottom. Uh, Nevada style number 1860 playing cards. Coded to last. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah. Made in China. What does it say? 2003. That's not bad. All right? Rank of poker hands on the back. Here's your back design. Not too bad, right? It's a nice back design. And yeah. <laughs> Coded to last means paper. Coded to not last. There's your uh, sticky joker. Your Nevada style. Ace of Spades. Here's your clumpy cards. Why would you buy clumpy cards? Why would you buy junk cards like this? They're they're worthless. They're worthless for gameplay. They're worthless for anything. They are worthless cards. There's no point in buying uh, cards like this. But you know that's actually that's the good thing is they really don't make cards like this anymore. Um, you can there's still some junky printers out there for sure. But back in the day, when I started doing deck reviews, bad decks were more common, more common than they are now. Not as common anymore. People kind of figured it out, right? Um, number seven premium brand Platinum Plus playing cards. Got a gold bar there. Trying to look like a, uh, a casino deck. And it's trying to look like a, a B deck with the, the leaves right there. And I know these came in blue and red as well. Platinum plus poker number seven, ace of spades, back design. Very clumpy. Look at that. It's not as clumpy as the, as the other ones. You can at least peel these cards off one at a time. And I suppose if you sat there and shuffled them for five minutes and put a bend in them, you know, if you did that arc shuffle, bridge shuffle, what it's called. You get some get some airflow in there and maybe break them up. There's one joker, second joker. There's your jokers. Okay. Not a bad back design, but wasted on clumpy cards. This was one of my very first deck reviews I ever did. And I believe I even gave these uh, away as a prize. These are Walgreens. Walgreens, another drugstore. 2012 is when these came out. Shows you the back and the face. Big, huge back design. Nice. Because I believe they're bicycles. Yeah, they're bikes. There's your quartz. Standard, standard. Kind of a Hoyle. It used to be that the Hoyle faces were um, the ones you could get as a custom deck. There's your Joker. And second Joker. But still glides, still has action. Walgreen card, Walgreens Ace of Spades. Just have three left. I'm saving the best for last. Um, 2000 Casino Special, Casino Special, Queen playing cards, Queen, look at those creative graphics that they put on the sides. Back design, made in Taiwan, I bet that means it's awesome, eh, not too shabby. Imitation B back, there's your Joker. 
Joker, Ace of Spades. So that's 2,000. Darker shade of red for the reds. There's your court cards. So yeah, that's the whole deck, All right? What's there to see, really? Really, at the end of the day, what's there to see? Once you see a few pips and a few indices and a few court cards, you're done, you're done. You've seen the whole thing. You're like, yep, I know what it's like. Everybody's favorite stud. I really wish I had picked up more of these when I picked them up. Um, Illinois. Yep. Deerfield, Illinois. Uh, jumbo Index, too. I wish I had gotten non-Jumbo Index. Uh, finest quality linen finish. Um, we're going to go with we're going to go with red. We're going to close this out with red. Um, this is a favorite deck from a lot of um, classic magicians. Beautiful spread, beautiful jumbo index though. Man, I wish I had gotten, got, I wish I had got regular. I think when I went looking for studs, these were just the ones I found. By the time I figured it out, um, studs were flying off the shelf and they were gone. And so I think by the time these, these, these studs, I don't know if you can still get them today. Can you? I don't think so. I haven't seen them, but a lot of magicians uh, like these. This is not a very good example of studs because they're the large index. Sometimes though, that's what you get at drugstores. So very, look at that. Just so much worn. This is how much I used these decks. For magic. That is my grocery store, drugstore uh, collection. And I've got others. Um, I've got others. And I have a bunch of uh, canceled decks from casinos too. Uh, that was the other thing that I started uh, collecting when I first started collecting cards because that's what was out there, right? You could, get, you could get custom casino decks and decks like this from the grocery store or uh, when you were on vacation, like if you went to another state, right? You could get ones that said like Utah. So yeah, that's what that was That's what was available. Oh, and bridge decks. You could get custom bridge decks that had like, you know, John Wayne on them or the American, fl <laughs> the American flag, right? So any favorites in here? Anything that piqued your interest? Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for hanging out and watching these videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.